even before. All right, we determined the social media site for a few minutes. Good or bad behavior? Bad. Bad, bad right? Is that work? The work immersion program here at Masonic is for IU students from ages 17 to 21 who need some extra instruction to improve their employability skills. Um, the IU partnered with Masonic uh, with the common goal that these students really need just some extra instruction um, in social skills and a lot of soft skills that aren't necessarily taught in a typical high school. All right, so as you become an adult, those type of content check-ins so the goals from Masada Village is it's really a mission-oriented uh, program and it's to, to continue to provide to our community um, and also help with the workforce. I think one of the biggest things here is to provide those students opportunities. And one of the best way to do that is to provide the mentorships here at Masonic Village through this program uh, for they can learn the skills needed for these um, jobs, um, such as laundry, housekeeping, maintenance, and the other ones that we've discussed. And if they can learn that, they'll be ready for employment upon graduation from high school. So our goal, ultimate goal, is hopefully to hire many students as we possibly can, or at least prepare them for the workforce outside of Masonic Village. A lot of times students come to us and they have not been out in the uh, employment world very long or they've never been out. And so when they first get out, you know, you, we see some social issues, we see some, some um, hard times with just being able to follow directions and being able to figure out what process works best. So some students need checklists, other ones need cards. It's just dependent on what the student needs. Here at Masonic, we're able to have that direct link and show students like this is why it matters to be kind this is why it matters to be respectful by putting them directly into work they kind of change their mind frame too where this is no longer school this is now a place of employment this is now a place of work and now i'm an adult so now i can start applying these social skills or applying these things i've learned all over these past couple years we're finally here and we can help the students show that in a mature way there's just overall growth you can see from, you know, we call it the polished, the polished look. So we'll come from, you know, this really rough beginning to at the end seeing this nice polished student that looks like they could be a Masonic employee. I always joke around that the students come in as boys and girls and they leave us as men and women. Um, their confidence really grows, their ability to communicate with not only each other but also with adults, um, that really improves. It felt like we were making a big difference, so the staff actually really have become acclimated to it. They're part of the family is what they always say, and it's amazing to see that that the, the staff are really taking this program and, and going with it, running with it, um, building great relationships, and the, the reward in the end is the relationships, but also to see the students' growth and potential. And those with those students are see, seeing that, and um, I hear it all the time about how special it makes them feel. Um, and that's part of what we wanted to accomplish with the goals. The staff is wonderful. Um, the staff has been so amazing in wanting to know the interns that we have individually, wanting to learn what their skills and abilities are when they first come to them, um, and then help them work on those to develop those as well. Um, they're just totally accepting of everything that we do with the interns. And it's so cool to see them build those relationships with them as well, and really work with them one-on-one -on -one more than we do sometimes. Um, and help them learn to be successful. I had two kids so far and completely different. It's challenging sometimes, but I think it's worthwhile. It's helping them out, helps us out. Like Connor, he, I can tell him basically what show him what to do and he, will, he picks it up pretty quick and I can give me time to do computer work or work on something else in the shop where I can keep an eye on him or he can ask questions. I am interested in um, small engines, small modes is what I call it. I'm going to CDC next year after I graduate from this place and to pursue the small motives. It's almost a family feel. It 
The crew loves me. I like the crew. The fork's good. I like it. I go over our cleaning process and the importance of how to use chemicals and the process like if they would be out on a regular job, how we would expect them to work on a daily basis. And throughout the day we actually try to show them like how to be professional around like a lot of residents because we deal, do deal with a lot of residents here. So there's a lot of little other things we try to teach them too besides just the cleaning part of it. We repair anything that's broken such as lights or light fixtures and we also do annual cleanings and vacuumings inside the residents' apartments. I think I've grown really well in my first time being here and I feel like the, in a sense, I do feel like I do have some room for more improvement down the line but I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. I say I've uh, grown a lot. I've matured, I guess. It's an experience. Let's me, you know, get the job knowledge that I need. That, that way I can get an actual job, say here or somewhere else. I think I think from Calvin to Laura on down to all of us, I, I think we we all get a, a benefit, and the residents get a benefit out of having them here. They're young for one thing, and having young people running around, I I think is is good, uh, and, and you see their growth, uh, like on a professional basis, uh, what they might learn, what they might use in private life at some point, and then we all get it, we all get it, the experience of seeing them grow a little bit too. That's, 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 that's nice. It was uh, a challenge at first. Um, Masonic has really strict policies in place. And at first it was a little difficult to figure out how we were going to help students become familiar with these policies and be able to follow them. Um, but the interns have been great. You know, we did some extra training in the beginning of the school year before they came here. We had some virtual days where we were able to explain the policies and procedures. And once the interns understood what they were, they've been great in following them. Um, we, we thank Masonic for being willing to take on our program because a lot of other programs weren't able to function uh, this year because of COVID. But by following their policies and regulations and keeping open communication, we were able to stay open basically all year um, and be able to give students experiences that not everybody could always get. COVID-19 for everyone was definitely a challenge. Um, what I would say is we have an amazing infection control team here um, that we were able to communicate with to follow proper protocols, to instill practices. Uh, but also IU 13 support in making sure that those practices are being followed um, even on their end and, and our end as well. So it's been a, a very mutual uh, process here that we're working together. There's endless opportunity here, um, very endless and just bright. Like I can see a bright and endless um, opportunities here for our program. It's been extremely positive so far. We've only been running for about a year and a half and the growth we've seen is tremendous. So where we're gonna be in five years, I have no idea where we've went in the past year and a half is very far. So I'm, I'm extremely excited for the future. Um, just continue to be a, a part of the, the program here in Masana Village and our mission. I truly believe that um, there's great opportunity for these students here at Masonic Village, um, especially in the workforce, um, but just also the culture and, and what we do here at Masonic Village. It's, uh, it's special to have them here. It's, uh, it's a great morale booster, um, but the students are benefiting, but also us and the residents. And I think that's a great thing to have here.